At this month's Farnborough International Air Show, Japan Airlines revealed its massive plan with the Airbus A350, promising to make a blow-up impact and bring huge changes to the aviation industry. Let's find out in today's episode. On the second day of the Farnborough International Air Show 2024, Japan Airlines finalized an order with Airbus for 21 A350-900 aircraft first announced on March 20th, 24. Additionally, the airline has ordered 11 single-aisle A321 NEO aircraft, marking the airline's first order for a single-aisle Airbus. These aircraft will join the order of 21 Boeing 737 MAX 8 to upgrade the airline's narrow-body fleet. The order reinforces the commitment made in March with delivery times for both aircraft types expected from 2028 to 2032. This is the second order of Japan's national airline at the exhibition, taking place one day after the airline ordered 10787-9 Dreamliner from Boeing. According to Mr. Yukio Nakagawa, JL will accelerate the introduction of modern and fuel-efficient aircraft into operation to provide quality service to passengers and help reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Japan Airlines, established in 1951 and becoming the national airline in 1953, has a vast flight network serving hundreds of domestic and international destinations, including routes to Asia, Europe, the Americas, and Oceania. The airline has a diverse fleet, including wide-body and narrow-body aircraft such as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, Boeing 777, Boeing 767, and Airbus A350 and A321 NEO aircraft. This airline is renowned for its high-quality service, comfort, and hospitality. They offer various classes of seating from economy to first class, with accompanying services such as dining, entertainment, and customer care. Japan Airlines currently operates 15 Airbus A350-900 aircraft from the first order of 19 before. This is the first time the airline has used an Airbus aircraft since the A300 was retired in 2011. The order included 20 standard aircraft and one additional aircraft, the 21st, to replace an airframe lost on January 2nd when a JAL Airbus 900 collided with a Dash 8 on the runway while landing at Tokyo Haneda Airport. The airline also operates three larger Airbus A350-1000 aircraft with 10 more still being delivered, with the first entering service on January 20th, 24, along with the introduction of new versions for all cabins. The latest order has increased JAL's total A350 orders to 52 aircraft. In addition to Japan Airlines purchasing Airbus aircraft, Virgin Atlantic also ordered seven A330-900 aircraft on the second day of the event. Thanks for watching until this part of the episode. Next up, we'll find out how A350 and A320neo are. Your support makes a huge difference and helps us reach more aviation fans. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe if you're new here. Your support keeps the content coming. After ordering, what is the plan of Japan Airlines with A350 and A320neo? Christian Scherer, Chief Commercial Officer of Airbus, thanked Japan Airlines for continuing to show confidence in the A350 aircraft and that this event also marks a new milestone in their partnership with JAL as the airline orders the A321neo. He also committed to providing comprehensive support to Japan Airlines as their expanding fleet serves more domestic and international routes within their network. The new 900 variant aircraft will join JAL's A350 fleet to serve international flights, while the A321neo aircraft will operate domestic routes. This is the most modern and efficient wide-body aircraft in the world, and it leads the long-haul segment in the 300 to 410 seats category. As of the end of June 20th, 24, the A350 family has received over 1,300 orders from 60 customers worldwide, making it one of the most successful wide-body aircraft ever. Like all Airbus aircraft, it can operate with 50% sustainable aviation fuel. At the same time, Airbus is aiming to use 100% SAF for all its aircraft models by 2030. Meanwhile, the A321neo is the largest version of Airbus's best-selling A320neo family, offering exceptional range and performance. Thanks to its combination of new generation engines and Sharklet's wingtips, this aircraft reduces noise by 50%, saves over 20% in fuel, and reduces carbon dioxide emissions by 20% compared to previous generation single-aisle aircraft, while providing maximum comfort for passengers with the widest single-aisle cabin currently available. To the recent 
more than 90 customers worldwide have ordered over 6,400 A321neo aircraft. This year's International Air Show is an opportunity for aircraft manufacturers to showcase their flagship new products. On the first day of the five-day event, Airbus introduced its latest passenger jet with sustainability at the core of its design. As a single-aisle aircraft, the A321 XLR consumes 30% less fuel and has a projected range of 4,700 nautical miles, a range that Airbus believes will surpass many of its larger traditional long-haul competitors. The fuel efficiency of the A321 XLR is good news for airlines looking to use cost-effective narrow-body aircraft on long-haul flights. This time, Boeing did not bring any new products due to ongoing controversies and safety production crises. Instead, Boeing used its exhibition to highlight the latest updates to the long-standing 777 jet family. Laura Fitzgerald, Boeing's regional marketing director, stated, The 777X is the next generation of the 777, and one of the most notable improvements in cabin space is the interior cabin architecture. According to Boeing, the 777X features double the luggage capacity and reduces closing forces by over 40%. Additionally, to enhance the passenger experience, Boeing has installed larger windows. It seems that this upgrade has garnered significant interest as the aircraft has already received over 500 orders, even though it has not yet officially launched. At this year's air show, Airbus achieved success with a large order from FlyNAS, a low-cost airline from Saudi Arabia, for 75 A320neo aircraft and its first wide-body order for 15 a 33900 Airbus concluded the exhibition with a total of 139 orders and commitments. Boeing fell slightly short, ending the exhibition with 118 orders and commitments. Guillaume Fari, CEO of Airbus, stated, In the commercial aircraft sector, we are focusing on deliveries and preparing the next steps in the acceleration process while addressing specific supply chain challenges and securing the supply of key work packages. Total commercial aircraft orders amounted to 327 compared with the first half. In 2023 is 1,080 aircraft. The net orders of 310 aircraft after cancellations in 2024 compared with the first half of 2023 is 1,044 aircraft. The total order backlog reached 8,585 commercial aircraft by the end of June 20, 24. Also in the half year of 2024, Airbus helicopters recorded 233 net orders, higher than the first half of 2023 with 131 aircraft, including 38 H-225 for the German Federal Police in Q2. The order value for Airbus Defense and Space was 6.1 billion euros, while 2023 is 6.0 billion euros. In addition, consolidated revenue increased by 4% year over year to 28.8 billion euros, while 2023 is 27.7 billion euros, primarily reflecting the number of commercial aircraft delivered and higher volume in Airbus Defense and Space's air power segment. A total of 323 commercial aircraft were delivered higher than 2023 with 316 aircraft, including 28 A220, 261 A320, 13 A330, and 21 A350. Revenue from Airbus's commercial aircraft operations increased by 4%, mainly reflecting the higher number of aircraft delivered. The total number of Airbus helicopters delivered was 124, lower than 2023, with revenue generally stable year over year, reflecting solid performance, particularly in services. What do you think of Airbus's first half revenue report? Turning to other news, on Wednesday, July 17th, at a ceremony at the crash site in eastern Ukraine, the victims of Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 were commemorated by the residents of Hakrabov. In the past, the Boeing 777 was a route from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur on July 17, 2014, when it was shot down in eastern Ukraine during the conflict between pro-Russian separatists and Ukrainian forces. All 298 people on board were killed. In the village of Harabov, people placed flowers and toys at the memorial, honoring the victims of the crash. An international investigation determined that a Buk missile launched from a launcher transported by truck into territory controlled by Ukrainian separatists from a Russian military base and later driven back to Russia caused the flight to crash. Investigators indicated that the missile came from the 53rd Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade, a unit of the Russian armed forces stationed in Kursk that supported the separatist forces of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic. On November 20th, 22, after a trial lasting over two years, 
A Dutch court convicted in absentia Russian nationalist Igor Gherkin, also known as Strelkov, along with another Russian and a pro-Russian Ukrainian, of murder for their roles in transporting the missile. They were sentenced to life imprisonment, but remain at large as Russia refuses to extradite them for trial. Another Russian was acquitted. Moscow continues to deny any responsibility related to the incident. Have you flown with Japan Airlines yet? If you have, comment 1. If not, comment 2. If your answer is 1, how was your experience? Please leave your comments below to let us know. Thank you and see you next time.